Ini Pak. Layu tuh, Pak. Yang gini nak. Yang gini, Sir. Dan. Pas. Hai, lanjari kali, Sir. Siak. Sika, Sir. Sika. Sika. Alamak. Sika. Tega Highlander kemat? Ini sih, maik amang tu, kalau bus jamu. Apa yau? Aku apa yau? Aku bingkit aku. Yang sanin. Kadang mama syak sana tu je. Sanin lo nami tega Luna eh, apa yau? Luna po. Mana yau pun biayanya mana? Oh enggak eh. Sige sih, sige. Sige sige, terima kasih. Sige, sige terima kasih. We decided to take the swab test or the antigen test for a peace of mind and we can check in at any hotel or accommodation that we wanted because that's one of the requirements here in Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur or in the Ilocos region. Um, one of the main requirements is the swab test or the antigen test and the COVID shield and I think that's it, COVID shield and of course if you're in Lishore, um, your ITD ride. Sinabi namin we're just passing through, pero sabi nila, requirement daw talaga sa borders niya, merong antigen test whether it's Ilocos Norte or Ilocos Sur border. So since we will be passing through Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur, we decided to just get the, the antigen test, which is worth 800 pesos per person. Mas mura pa kaysa sa Baguio. So dito sa Ilocos Norte, um, it is worth 800 per person and sa Baguio is 1-3. We thought na pamura na kung sabagyo pero may mas mura pa pala 800 pesos. So um, we will be waiting for the result around 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll be going to the road. A few moments later. We are now waiting for our swab test result, and grabe, parang mas madaas yon kaysa sa bagyo. Like sa bagyo parang feeling ko antito lang, pero dito sa Ilocos Norte parang mabut dito. Um, sandali lang naman yung sakit. Hindi ko sasabihin na walang sakit, pero sandali lang yung sakit. And I think it's worth it. It's worth it na kunting sakit, pero you will see the tourist spot here in the Philippines. I think getting swabbed for the purpose of leisure travel is kung ganitong kamura, like 800 to, or 750 to 800. Or if you can get it even for free, I think it's worth it. The pain that you will feel for a little while habang ini swab test is worth it na makita yung... Um, beauty of our country so if you have the time if you have um, the courage to do this swab test i highly recommend that you do it para uh, help the tourism industry and the um, tourism sector here in the philippines we have been to a handful of places and um, nakita namin yung devastation of the effects of the pandemic like um, yung mga boatmen, naging fishermen na lang, yung mga homestay, hindi nila alam kung saan sila kukuha ng kanilang pera for their daily needs. And traveling around the Philippines will really make you see kung anong effect ng pandemic for the whole Philippines. Especially for the lower class, for the yung mga nag to serve sa ating sa tourism industry. I think it's high time na maibalik natin yung yung ginagawa nilang service sa atin dati. I think it's high time that uh, maibalik natin yun by going back to our local tourist spot and tangkilikin ang ating sariling resources or napakagandang ating mga tourist spot. So I think our result came out and hopefully it's negative. <laughs> The only negative thing you will need in your life is the result of a swab test. <laughs> negative. So negative, kami. Coming to low negative. So um, we are. We have a peace of mind. Na safe kami and wala kami dalang virus. So. Yes. Actually, unapat ba kami na 15 minutes? I don't know. I think it's less than 15 minutes. And we are now entering Ilocos Norte.
yung fault. Ako hindi pa makarating. Hello! Welcome to another travel vlog in my channel, The Literary Life of Joe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And today, we are in Patapat Ridge. <laughs> we are coming down from Santa Ana. Um, you can watch my vlog over here or here or down below. I'm gonna link it down below the description box and just to be sure um, that's my vlog, travel vlog about Santa Ana Cagayan. So right now we are in Patapat Bridge. Patapat Bridge is located in Pagudpud in Ilocos region here in the Philippines and it is one of the most famous coastal road here in the Philippines if not the most famous and I think this is the perfect spot to start this vlog. But first, here's a drone shot for you. here in Ilocos region before I'm gonna show you where we are staying we were supposed to stay at Saud Beach in Pagudpud pero their requirements nakakamatay like before you can even book in an accredited DOT um, hotel we were already swab negative na kami and they're still requiring us to take the RTCPR RCTPR I always, I always mix it up um, test and that that cost that will cost us around a, a total of ten thousand. So we are staying right now at Kurimau Beach in Ilocos Norte. Um, we met up with my sister's family and um, they're also taking a vacation. We are staying in a very gorgeous beach, like very fine new sand. I'm gonna show you in a little while. Very fine new sand and then you beach nya is very very shallow great for the kids before anything else i'm gonna show you a drone shot of the place <laughs>
namin, I just decided to rest for a little while. Um, I just ju I just wanted to enjoy the view and everything. At North Shore Skin, this is their backyard. and everything so there is an ample parking space actually we chose this beach because it's beachfront not like the other um, resorts over there there's another one over there it's a quarantine hotel so there is an ample parking space and my wifi is there but it's in the lobby so this is the entrance of the lobby It's really very huge in the lobby then. So they have a dining area and this is the staircase going upstairs to our room. Silang room natin, Tati. Silang room ni Tita na. This is my niece, by the way. Today is the second day of ours. Um, we are going to try the Hawaii sand dunes, but it's so windy. So in advice, nila kami na um, mamaya na lang pumunta like three to five. So while waiting for that time, we are going to go sightseeing. Oh, our first time to the Kori Mau Lighthouse. Oh, there's a competition. We um, when we were swimming last night. So let's take a look if we can go up. in my back this is the new lighthouse that we saw yesterday no so apparently Nina Omiilo the old one look at the view ah, it's so beautiful wait lang so this is the view that's the new lighthouse That's the old lighthouse. Dito talaga siya gumagana old, old, old and super rusty. And then that's the new lighthouse. Kita niya naman yung dress ko. Talagang super hangin. I-video ko pa baba. Yay! Ang ganda o! Ito na bitch! Ganda ng view!
my dad pick another one just like this. Traveling here in the Philippines, we can just buy Bogo just anywhere. <laughs>